Okay, now we have come to the last part of organizing our speech, the conclusion. So what is the primary functions of speech conclusions? Mainly, we can say that there are three functions or three reasons why we need to have the conclusion to the speech. The first one, to alert the audience that the speech is ending. Number two, to summarize the speech and reinforce the thesis. And last but number three, to clarify what listeners should think or do in response to the speech. In a nutshell, think about the residual message that we want the audience to take home with them. Now, in a nutshell, we can say that there are three types of conclusion that we can utilize. Namely, crescendo ending, dissolved ending, and anticipated response. Let's take a look at each one of these types of ending. Now, what is a crescendo ending? This is a type of conclusion in which the speech builds to a zenith of power or intensity. Crescendo, the increase in intensity. Number two, dissolve ending. This is the part where the conclusion generates emotional appeal by fading step by step to a final dramatic statement. And the third type of conclusion is anticipated response. This is the response that a speaker seeks from listeners such as what audience member will remember or what they will think or do 